We'll be on our way heading north. Go diving, get into some new territory and try and get up to Rally Rumba. going into a stormy evening, usually the way it is in Indonesia. We've got these massive big cells come through and we don't have a radar at the moment. It really scare the crap out of me to be honest. We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. Oh, we got another kid today. along nicely we're doing I don't know what we're doing we've got light wind and I'm just making lunch we're having spaghetti bolognese so it's nice to cook in the galleys nice and uh, not rocking around slow down they look creepy 2.8 knots at the helm one 2.8 <laughs> that's all right I'm trying to save fuel though we might make it. <laughs> so we're sailing along, making lunch and editing the movie. So we are in um, Lavi and Bajo, we got here yesterday. Lee and Liam and Bella are going to get fuel. So we're fueling up and we're going to head towards Wakatobi. So doing a fuel run, market run, and I'm just editing some videos while we're here. And uh, we'll be on our way heading north. Go diving, get into some new territory and try and get up to Rally Rumba. Happy Lee, give him some peanuts and a beer. <laughs> Easy, please. Aren't you? So you wouldn't believe it, we're coming in. 
It looks like we're going to get there before dark. We're only a mile and a half off, you know. One and a half mile, nautical mile, that is. Tomorrow we're going to head north. Whoop, whoop! Where's Malachi? How do we beat them? <laughs> this outfit doesn't go too bad, eh? Oh, mate, she takes out all the cats, eh? <laughs> they even left before us. Oh. It all comes down to. Uh... I'd say probably the theory behind sailing and the captain. <laughs> you know what you're doing, ladies and gentlemen. Like, <laughs> years and years of experience out on the deep blue. And turning your engine on helps. <laughs> Watching the sun go down on another beautiful day here in paradise. Life ain't bad, baby. Life ain't bad. Beautiful one day and perfect the next. We're dropping the anchor. Not yet. Look at that. Oh, magic. Just dropping the anchor just on dark. Well, sun's still going down. Just dropping the anchor now. Here comes Nalakai. Not often we're in an anchorage first, <laughs> but it does happen. There's a site over there. They got here first. It's about 2.45 in the morning and uh, we just pulled anchor from where we pulled up last night and we're heading towards Wakatobi. It's about 280 nautical miles from here. We've got about a two and a half day passage maybe, just depends how we go, but yeah, we're on our way. This is what heading off on a two day passage looks like. We wake up, pulled anchor, I won't charge up, he pulled anchor, he's gone back to sleep. Uh, Lisa at the helm, and I'm just going to make the captain a coffee, get the sails up, get him set, and I'll probably go back to sleep. He can do first watch. Okay, um, it's about 6, 6.30, Lisa's gone to bed. The sun's just coming up and um, it's a bit cloudy, that's why the sun's just coming up. <laughs> and we're motoring along. Doesn't seem to be much wind. We've gone about 20 nautical miles. So we've got about 200 and a lot. There's a rainbow this morning, I just saw a big fish jump. Still no wind. Had the sails out a couple of times, so we just had to pull them back in. Just kept flapping. We just had a little bit of a squall, got up to about 18, 20 knots, and, uh, or maybe more, 20, 22 knots, and then it's dropped out, but we've got some wind, so we're sailing along now, so that's good. 
hopefully this wind continues. We've got about 85 nautical miles today. We were going to keep going um, to Wakatobi, but the wind that was predicted didn't arrive. We mowed it all day and we found an anchorage that we're going to stop tonight and sleep it out and hopefully the wind comes in tomorrow so we can sail the rest of the way. But um, yeah, we've motor sailed all day and we didn't want to use up our fuel so we'll uh, anchor up, check the weather again and see if there's wind tomorrow. If there's wind we'll head off, otherwise there is some atolls and stuff to explore here so we could stay here and do that. But yeah, we'll check the weather. Like a Toby's still 200 north miles away or more. That's what we're doing. We're gonna pull up and sleep. So that's good. Uh, so we dropped the anchor and uh, one bonus for motoring all day is we got to have a hot shower. So that's nice. Not something we have every day, is it, honey? Oh, hot shower luxury. Yeah. So it's 3 a.m. We're just pulling anchor um, from where we are. Little spot we stopped, and um, we're heading towards Hogger, like a Toby. So it's about 200 nautical miles away. Looks like we've got wind, so we're gonna go for it. So I've been on watch for about an hour, and um, I just uh, Matt just radioed because we're going past some fads, and I saw some birds as well, and he said. It's, we got our rod out and Lee's asleep and I thought, oh, I'll put it out. Anyway, I just caught a little fish. But it was a bonito. It was, uh, I let him go. So hopefully I can get another one. Wind on the nose. So it's all it's going between 30 degrees. So I can nearly put the head sail out, but not quite. Um, we're just motoring along. The sea state is very calm though, so that's nice. Hello, kids. We've got Showing uh, 12 o'clock tonight, about 15 to 17 knots kicks in. All right, back to you, Betty.
So we've just stopped a little island in the middle between where we stopped the other day and um, it's about 60 nautical miles from Wakitobi. Um, it's not on any, it's not in any books and there's no anchorages here but we're just scoping out a place that we look, think looks okay for an anchorage. Um, the boys, Matt and Lee have got in with the dinghy and Malachi is now going in. The birthday boy, Liam, it's his birthday today, is driving in and um, and then we'll come in. Hopefully we can stop so we can uh, have Liam's birthday not sailing. We can go spearing or do something fun here. Looks pretty nice. Nice little island, not too bad. Yeah, I need to come to Alright guys, so about two hours after waiting out of the reef, um, they found a way that we could stay here because they went in and it was like 30 metres spears and incredible and turtles everywhere and uh, a doggy's going up to Liam. So, you know, we're going in. We're going to stay here and have some birthday celebrations and have a spear and a snorkel around. 30 metres spears! Storm coming in though, so I think Lee's gonna gun it. We're gonna go tie up to them. Hopefully it's all okay. Now we're gonna hang five. Yeah, we made probably one of the most silliest decisions that we've made for a little while. Um, Thanks for watching that episode. Tune in next time to see what our stupid mistake was. And if you haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. See you next time. <laughs> This wouldn't come out what I was trying to say. <laughs>